Hi everyone, I'm Sarah, this is Nelson and you're watching Paw for TV. This week we just wanted to say a very big thank you from Nelson for all the loves and wishes. If you haven't heard, unfortunately Nelson got diagnosed with skin cancer and he had to go for some treatment last week. So this is why he's got his big cone on his head. <laughs> so he's feeling a little bit sorry for himself. And we're a little bit heart sore as well because we never want to see our dogs or cats go through through um, invasive treatment. And as we've been going through this um, experience, I was chatting to the vets and one of the things why we do Perfect TV is to share knowledge and just um, help pet owners out there. So just a couple of things, reminders for dogs that don't have a lot of skin pigmentation or they haven't got um, pigmentation on their nose or they like colours and they are sunbathers. Really take precautions. You want a good sun factor. Um, now you can get it on our website and you can apply it daily or then you can get from some vets, you can get an actual sun suit. Um, and then with the suntan lotion, be um, vigilant about applying it. Try and keep your dog out of the sun. If they have got um, uh, lack of pigmentation in from about 10 to 4 in the afternoon, it's a bit hard because here yeah, Nelson is a he's a sunbather. He likes to sun himself, especially in the winter months. So be conscientious about it. Um, and then from when there are puppies. Really work with them to desensitize them to things like applying lotions, touching their body, um, having other people um, interact with them. Because Nelson's a very good patient, but as you've seen on previous videos, Olivia is also, um, you know, a high candidate for 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 skin cancer, and she might need treatment one day, and she's not great at the vet. So we have to think as pet owners that our dogs are going to have to go to the vet and be treated and how is that interaction going to happen. So start desensitizing your dog to um, being touched, to being in an environment where they might be a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, so start from when they are puppy, sit with them, touch their paws, touch their ears and really help them be able to in future um, be be able to visit their vets calmly. So those are just a few hints and tips from us. Nelson's a bit sorry for himself. So if you want to send him loves and and tail wags and kisses, pop him a message. Um, he's going for his checkup on on Thursday. Um, then also when they are a bit down, give them some special treats, especially if they hey you two. <laughs> We've got Gracie and George having their own conversation here. Um, but when they are a bit stressed and going to the vet, you might want to give them a nice special treat. And so we've just brought in the new lacquer barkery treats. They come in big packets and small packets. They're completely natural. They are, this one is like the training bikes for hyperallergenic dogs. Um, they're 100% natural. These are lamb liver and they just absolutely love them. So let's show you. Guys, what do we think of these training tips? These training treats. Oh. I think, yeah, I think George gives it a nod, eh? Sit, sit, oh, Gracie, oh, Gracie. Hey, sit, 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 okay, let's give our patient first, Nelsie Jensie, do we like that, Nels? Cool, there you go, and there you go, Gracie, so I think they get the nubs up, and I think Nelson's deserved an extra treat, oh, wait, we've got Miss Olivia coming for her one, sit, Goody, sit, Mmm, yes, we like these. Thank you. Oh, good girl. Right, so that's all from us from Paul Brick. Thanks for the well wishes. Um, Nelson is recovering, and we just really appreciate all your thoughts and prayers. So until next week, same time, same place, Paul TV.